Last year, Earth science teacher Mrs. Weller proposed that RHS could expand our science program by replacing our old 1976 model planetarium with a new Digitalis Epsilon planetarium. With the help of tech director Mr. Chadell, they were able to make that happen. What encouraged you to propose the new planetarium idea? Our old planetarium was from 1976, and it was just limited in what it could do and what it could teach, and it was just time to upgrade the system. Mr. Weller and Mrs. Weller came to me about a year and a half, even before we purchased it, saying that they had an idea and that they had a um, product for a new planetarium. What were some issues you had with the old planetarium? Um, a lot of things didn't work. You know, we'd look up at the night sky and I, I'd have to say, like, that's not a galaxy, it's a scratch on the lens. Um, a lot of the, the components of it just didn't work anymore. And I was afraid to turn it on. It would sizzle. Can you imagine running an old computer from 1976? Um, so, yeah, it, it needed an upgrade. There's a huge board of, like, controls. And now everything's controlled with, like, an iPad or just a clicker. So we had to get all of that stuff removed and um, made sure that everything was safe and, and that the new planetarium could be installed on top of the location where the old planetarium was. How did this change the way you teach? Uh, we've So the earth science classes have been down there, all the freshmen have been down there, and um, they're just amazed at how what we are learning they can actually see completely, like everything to a T, even like why light pollution is bad and why not. I showed them like a full dome movie about that. Um, and as I grow that curriculum, they'll be learning more and more. It's really nice to see the visual of the sky because you don't really get that out of a textbook. What are some new features of the new planetarium? Uh, the new planetarium is completely digital, so we can teach so many different um, things about space science, not just stars. Um, it's got, you know, the full dome movies like you would see at a museum. Um, we can actually program things and run like a completely computerized show with an iPad. Um, we can learn about not only stars, but the planets, the galaxies, the moon. You can zoom in on anything. So there are so many more things it can do, even things I don't know that it can do yet because I'm still learning it. We redid all the seats inside of the planetarium, so there was some cost there. Um, we repainted everything, so there were some added costs that came along with the planetarium. I walked in and it was just blue, so it was kind of like, oh, okay, but then it started working. It was really cool. Have you had any problems with the new planetarium? Um, yes, because it's digital, so like any type of technology, when it's good, it's good, and when it's bad, it's really hard to figure out. Mm -hmm. That's been my biggest challenge down there, is there are glitches where I don't know how to troubleshoot it because it's brand new. Um, you would think that controlling a whole room by a remote control and an Xbox controller would be easy, but it's not. There's a lot to the machine that I need to keep practicing and, and writing new lessons for activity to it and um, and as Mrs. Weller gets better the shows get better so um sometimes you get a little dizzy when the stars are moving but other than that it's great my hopes and dreams for Roosevelt um is to propose a, an astronomy class an elective for upperclassmen that takes them beyond what they learn in earth science and so I hope to be able to use the room every day um, in the near future. The new planetarium sounds amazing. Hopefully at some point everyone will be able to experience it. Now back to the anchors.